Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Gears Tactics, where we essentially just give out some awards for the campaign. It's the calm before the storm. We are about to complete the final mission of the game. Well, it's not going to be the end of the playthrough because there's still some veteran missions to do. We will certainly be dabbling in that. But I wanted to, well, just give some acknowledgement to the various gears that have helped us throughout this campaign and essentially see who's been the best performing or the worst performing or whatever. So without further ado, let's begin. And we are going to begin with the, I guess, the uh, length of service award, the soldier that has been on the most missions. And it's no surprise that goes to Aaron Nichols in first place with the gold medal, 21 missions he's gone in. That is, that's a lot of missions. Um, unfortunately, we can't use him for the final mission. It turns out you're supposed to just really use your story characters, which kind of sucks, but hey ho. Uh, that's the way it is. Uh, and he in second place was Coltrane. I have decided to, by the way, it would have been Gabe Diaz, but I've decided to exclude Diaz and Dawn and Redburn from all of these. Uh, it's not really fair because they have to go out on a number of missions, and it's certainly favoritism, I'd say, to towards them if um, I let them be included. Also, they'd be winning most of the awards in that case. Except for this one, because Aaron went on so many more missions. Uh, but yeah, Aaron was in first, Coltrane in second, and then it's a tie in third place between Cutie Purple and Tyrone Wolf Shepherd. Rest in peace. Uh, yeah, so on to the next one is the most kills, which once again goes to Aaron. Actually, surprise, surprise. Uh, let me just, well, I know that for a fact. I think you will know that as well. Aaron gets it 156 kills, which is absolutely bonkers really is. Uh, and then all the way down in second place, it would have been the three main story characters, but it's going to be Tyrone Wolf Shepherd again making an appearance here. 59 kills, closely followed by Coltrane with 56. So well done to you three once again for just hogging the leaderboard. But it's going to be a little bit different here. Sort of, maybe a little bit. Uh, it is the Executions Award this is the most cumulative execution, so the most total. And in first place, it is actually Aaron, because we are excluding Diaz and Redburn here. Um, so he gets the gold once again, three times in a row. Coltrane in second. And then, of course, it's Andrea Slicer Nichols. Rest in peace. We will come to you again at the end of this. And pay tribute to an amazing gear. Uh, but yeah, she manages to come in at 17 executions. Coltrane got 23 and Nichols got 30. Aaron, sorry, got 30. Um, and I have to admit, Andrea's one's quite impressive because those 17, that was only over the course of nine missions. 11 missions for Coltrane and 21 for Aaron. So pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Our next one is the Ally Revives, which really we're just going to give out a first place for this because there's not very many of them. And there's only one person leading, basically, on their own, and that is Coltrane, Augustus Cole. Three times he revived um, people, and I guess it was in that last mission he was on. I'm pretty sure he got a revive there. Uh, that was a brutal mission, that final one. Uh, but he takes the gold there. I mean, he is such a team player, right? We do love him. We do love him. Uh, and then this goes into, I guess, Times Downed, which is kind of parallel to it. And it's basically joint first and it is Dave, Bulldog, Broadmoor and Kirill Lucky Malakov. I suppose you are quite lucky if you get downed three times and don't die. I believe two of those were in the same mission, in fact they were in the same encounter as well. And as for Broadmoor I believe it was, we, he had one in his last mission and I think he had some early on but he is a vanguard, we did use him to tank essentially, that, that was his purpose and yeah, he got through it and did well. All right, and now it is on to most kills per turn. This was always going to be a bit close up until one of the final missions where Malakov decided to go and get nine kills in one turn thanks to Explosive Shot, which absolutely decimated a bunch of wretches. I mean, that was just spectacular, wasn't it? And then he would have got seven, but he ended up getting nine because I think we threw a grenade down as well and got a couple of extra kills just to buffer the number. Uh, and there is a second place for this one, and that goes to Tyrone Wolf Shepherd. He had six, I think, probably from grenades and a couple of shots or something like that. Uh, but generally speaking, it was pretty close because there's a lot of people in third. You've got Richter, 
Uh, both Aaron and Andrea as well, they're both got five kills per turn as well. Actually, I don't know if Ursula Richter did, because that might have been from when Aaron was originally Ursula, so maybe, maybe not. Got a couple of extra ones for you here. This is kills per mission. I decided to do this myself. Um, easy to work, and work out, you just get the number of kills and divide it by the number of missions they were on. And I figured this is important because it kind of shows consistency. So at the top of the table, we do actually have Aaron, probably thanks to the sheer number of grenades that he throws. 7.42 kills per mission. That is a lot of enemies he was getting through. And then after that, it's actually the two heavies. We've got Tyrone coming in at 5.9, and then Malakov at 5.6. So there you go. And in fact, it's not just uh, Malakov, actually. Dave as well, he also has 5.6. 5.62 I believe it is. Uh, so that's quite a lot for a Vanguard. So good performance there from Dave. Both, uh, But they did only go on eight missions each, so smaller sample size, but I feel like eight is at least enough missions to get a, a fair reading. So well done to all of you. And of course this then must lead into executions per mission. Everyone loves a good execution and we have a clear top three here. We'll start it from third place. In third place is, in fact, Dave Broadmoor making an appearance again. The Bulldog got 1.5 executions per mission, which is pretty solid, actually. So he got a couple there in that last one. I suddenly helped his number. That probably took him just over Aaron, who has missed out on the top three here. Then in second place, is probably no surprise that Andrea is making an appearance here. She did come third in total executions, so but she wasn't quite on as many missions as the person in first. Uh, but Andrea got 1.88 executions per mission, almost two a mission. But do you know who did get two? 2.09? It is Augustus Cole, once again, the coal train executing people as he feels like it. And it was just so fun using Andrea and Augustus as, well, they, they were just executing and then uh, rooting for each other. You'd hear Coal Train shout, oh yeah, you got him good. And then Andrea would just be like, nice, <laughs> it was great. So good, so good. So well done once again. Your contributions have not been forgotten, Andrea. They were, they were very valuable to the team and the same with Tyrone as well. Okay, now we've got a few separate awards of mine that I have decided to come up with and dish out. And the first one is the MVP award, most valuable player, well, person, should be MVG, most valuable gear, really. Uh, and that goes to Aaron, unsurprisingly, very unsurprisingly. Uh, give me one moment while I just sort some stuff out. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. There we go. Yeah, Aaron got that. The most disappointing soldier then is the opposite of that. And that goes to Richter for, well, generally speaking, she never made a big impact throughout the campaign. But I, it wasn't originally going to be her. But a lot of people improved. You know, Igor made big improvements. Dawn made big improvements. Uh, but she just seemed to get a little bit more ineffective. I'm sure she had moments early on, but yeah, that big miss at the end in that final mission that 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 could have that just might have cost lives. Well, it, yeah, I mean they were dead. Maybe we could have saved them if she'd hit that shot. But boy, that was uh, that was bad. Now we look at the most reliable, and this is a three-way tie. I have decided. A few soldiers have not been mentioned here. And um, one of them is in this list, so you know about Andrea, you know about Cole, they're both on this list, most reliable. We could always depend on those two. We could also always depend on Kiri Purple over here. Nikita was a very solid soldier, generally speaking setting a lot of people up for kills and just the backbone of her squad any time she was out on a mission. So I'd say she did pretty damn good. And then that goes into the next one, which is the Assist Maker, and I think she like I say, she did get a lot of kills or even executions herself. She only averaged one execution a mission, 3.6 kills, which is near the bottom. In fact, I believe that's second worst. The worst being Eagle because he got off to such a dreadful start. Um, but yeah, so she did get many kills, but she was just generally solid. She hit a lot of her shots and was just very dependable. Like I say, the backbone of the team, a proper support. And the final one I would like to give out is most improved, and that does go to Igor, who started off abysmal. He was absolutely atrocious. 
just atrocious. He doesn't just ah, honestly. He was on my most disappointing list for most of the uh, most of the playthrough. Um, but the last couple of missions, oh my gosh, he he's indispensable. Uh, being able to get crits on some big enemies on the on boomers and on countesses, just one shotting things when he feels like it is absolutely spectacular. So uh, I, I put him as most improved. He's now a very valuable gear. I definitely would say. But now, let's pay tribute to two fallen gears that made some pretty big contributions to the campaign, actually. Uh, first of all, let's begin with the one who was here from Mission 2, actually, Chapter 2. Tyrone Wolf Shepherd. he's one of the ones that the game automatically creates. Very good soldier. Uh, I would say pretty good heavy, he did well. Got a lot of kills, that's what heavies do, right? Get a lot of kills, he was on, I think, uh, 10 missions, so... Let's have a moment for him. And then we've got Andrea Slicer Nichols, who was a fantastic support and hit way more shots than she perhaps should have. She really did. She hit a couple of 40% here and there when I was, wasn't really sure what to do. She was very good in Overwatch. And of course, damn good of a chainsaw as well. And the combination of her and Aaron was just pretty damn brutal. There wasn't a two soldier mission they couldn't handle. There really wasn't. And now Gabe's got to step in as the replacement essentially. It's weird how I'm looking at it that way around. Gabe's the one that's the replacement for Andrea. And you'd think it'd be the other way around, but no, no, she did a damn good job. So thank you very much for your contributions. It will not be in vain because we're gonna complete this and we're gonna get revenge. We're gonna kick every Countess's ass that we see in the most horrible fashion possible. So where do we go from here? Well, after this, we are going to be doing a bunch of veteran missions, and we're going to need a much bigger roster pool than this. So it's time to start hiring again. Currently over here, I have the option to hire a couple right off the bat, and I am going to do that. I'm just thinking though, I'm just trying to think of soldiers that I've got that in my XCOM pool that I can sort of, uh, plug in here and such. I think I've got one for you. In fact, I'm sure I do, so let's confirm you. Um, a Vanguard? I think we may want one more Vanguard. I'm looking to basically get four of every class, and that includes the heroes as well. So every, the heroes will be still getting used in the veteran missions, and they're also going to be able to qualify for the awards in the future as well. I will uh, take note of their contributions too. So basically, let's take a look at how many I've got. I've got one, two, I've got three vanguards, if I'm not mistaken. So we need one more. We're going to need one more sniper as well, because we've got this sniper here who I'm going to... I think I've got an XCOM soldier that I never really used much, but I'm going to just basically use her, I think. Um, come to think about it, I don't remember exporting that soldier, the one I was thinking of. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know now. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we've got only one heavy, I think, so this is where I need some help. So Andrew, if you are still watching, if you could submit a possible heavy, that would be brilliant. Um, if you want, submit two, to be honest. Um, they can be people you know, or they can maybe be some kind of wild fictional character. Um, sorry, just made up character. Um, I give you something completely random off the wall. I mean, here's an example of some of the, some of the, uh, yeah, names you get. Maybe Jalapeno, or uh, I don't know, the Mangler. Oh, that's a pretty good name for a uh, for a heavy. Perhaps some, well, you're you are an Overwatch spec heavy, so I don't know. But basically, I plan on having one go down each route. So if you take a look at their abilities. One's Defender, one's going to be a Demolitionist, one's going to be a Specialist, so good for redeployment, and one's going to be a Crit Artillery Shooter. This one's going to be a monster, honestly. If you can think of a wild one, a bit of a wild card for the Artillery one, that would be awesome. Um, we do have one new soldier already, and that is... <laughs> I forgot I did that. Does that look like a B to you? <laughs> it's called B, so I know it's with one E. Do you know what? I'm going to change your name. I'm going to change your name right now. You are B. B Hack Carlson. We're going to change your call sign. Is there Buzz? Please tell me Buzz is a, 
Um, bug? There's bug. Oh, buzz kill. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, do we have any cool headgear, maybe? A headband? What, what would a bee wear? They have like little antennas or something, don't they? So maybe we'll go for like... I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll have to work on that. <laughs> uh, don't really think there's anything here. Yeah, probably just leave you as you are there. You have to um, recolor your gun as well. Uh, so we've actually got three scouts, as you can see here. Yeah, so I do. No, I've got four scouts actually. That's the only one I'm fine with. I know that I forgot that Ursula existed. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we will be using Torres in the veteran mission, so that, that will happen. So we're all sorted for scouts. That's the only class I think we're fine in. Uh, but I do need one more vanguard. I need, I think, now I need two more supports actually, since we lost Andrea. So yeah, we've got Kidi, we've got Gabe, uh, but we do need two more supports. If we have a look at the skill tree, Kidi's going down a very neutral route. To be fair, they all kind of go down a neutral route. You've gone down Combat Medic. I guess Kitty seems to be naturally leaning towards... Maybe Heals, a Surgeon. Targets if you heal and get damage reduction. That could be kind of clutch, actually. I think I might do that then. I think I might have you go down the Surgeon route, since you're already going that way. And then we've got the Paragon and the Strategist, so... I'll do one of each, just for the sake of. Uh, but yeah, Snipers, we've got one going down Marksman. I believe Michaela's going down the Hunter route, so I need one for Concussion, Shot and all that, the Stalker and Assassin. This Assassin one looks awesome. An Assassin will kind of double up as a bit of a Marksman as well, because First Blood on the crit. So if we can get to Spree, that, that combined with a bunch of these, like, get guaranteed crit shots are going to be monstrous. This unit gets plus 50% damage bonus on its first hit of your turn. Are you serious? This is just so nuts. Some of these abilities. Ah, they're going to be so good when they level up. Like Igor, look at you. I can get you, I can get you to level 7, so you can get Overture. <laughs> uh, and we'll get an action if we can get, make our way to there. What's this? Precision Shot 3. That's also pretty good, so we either go down this route. 1, 2, 3, 4, or, or we get Bullseye level 2. I'm not too sure. Random skill being refreshed is actually pretty useful, given the sheer number of skills you have. The refresh times are not terrible, but first blood is five turns and it's kind of a lot. Uh, so yeah, I basically need some new gears. So there you go. I mean, if you have an idea of maybe who this sniper could be if you want, but yeah, I'd love I'd love it if you could contribute to heavy. That'd be absolutely awesome. If not, I'm sure I can come up with a crazy one myself. I'm thinking of someone like Rusty Joe or something. <laughs> um, um, is Rusty a nickname? Let's, let's take a look. Please tell me something like that would be. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, I know the alphabet. Sh shut up. <laughs> Ruby. Rusty, it is. Rusty Joe. What would his first name be? Hmm. Krusty. Maybe a surname could be Krusty. Reginald Rusty Joe. <laughs> I don't know. Sandbag, that's an interesting nickname. Uh, but yeah, like, more soldiers, please. That is what we're looking for. Maybe I'll have some of them just be randoms. Maybe. Kind of like um, B. Carlson. <laughs> you look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. Is there a different pattern that's B like, but not like that? How come it's all purple now as well while we're at it? Ah, so it's like the other way around. Well, obviously it's got to be this. Is that like a horizontal stripes? Horizontal stripes? There's hill, is that... What if we did this? We go main colors bright yellow, accent colors. No, I think I prefer the... Uh, I think I prefer you know what. The bees, the bees knees. And actually, since we're on B here, Buzzkill, let's go ahead and 
Danger Zone Orange. Uh, we've got uh, the uh, skills are the recon route. So the idea is I'm going to maybe experiment with a solo, yeah, a solo mission here for someone like her. Uh, she's got all sorts of uh, sprint cooldowns. Cloak is free and gets an action essentially. Still has a proximity mine, so it can keep enemies away if necessary. Um, every time she picks up an item, she gets an action. So she can really cover some ground, and we can use anticipation as well for extra actions. So when we're making that push to get out, that could be very, very clutch. So her first turn, she can always use sprint, um, another move, and then probably anticipation because it costs an action. Um, and you get what? gets an extra two actions, so she'd come in with five actions potentially. She could grab some loot boxes and then <laughs> pop uh, nimble anytime she does grab one. So yeah, she should be able to solo missions is the theory anyway. Uh, but we will experiment with that. We will experiment with that. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this campaign. Seriously, Andrea and Aaron, this has been um, absolutely awesome. I've absolutely loved it. So. I mean, the, the game's got a lot of things it needs to improve, um, but it has just done that by allowing you to get more experience, essentially. So all of these guys would be a little bit higher up in level. Um, I mean, the start of City would already be level 6. Uh, so would Michaela, but we're coming into this final mission only at level 5 with two of our gears, which isn't great. Uh, Kidi would probably be level 5 by now. Yeah. A bit tricky, really, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, all right then. I guess that's it for now. So uh, are those how many reset points I've got? If it is, that's kind of cool. We've quite a few. Uh, I guess I will see you in the final mission. I'm going to go ahead and start customizing one of our new snipers here. Our third sniper and probably higher. What about the support? Maybe. Now if I can think of any ideas for them, I'll look into it. And a vanguard. They all have the same faces, it kind of annoys me. It's more customization in the faces would have been nice, but never mind. Uh, anyway, next time. Knock knock.